Alrighty. Landing gear comes off. Part of the part of the hull comes off. Oh crap! Whoa! Hello everybody, Grace Blaze. We're back with more destroying stuff in 3D Simulator 2018. The lovely adult film music that has been paired with this game lets us know that it's time to rip stuff apart. So the last time, oh, and by the way, people were saying that the submarine was like a diesel submarine and not a nuclear submarine. I feel gypped. I'm gonna talk to the I'm talk to the developer about this. I want my nuclear submarine, man. Diesel or diesel electric or whatever. What a bunch of crap. People were saying, Gray, take apart the elevator. That's kind of interesting. I've never ripped apart an elevator before. Uh, I guess Keanu Reeves would be proud. I don't know why Keanu Reeves. I always feel like he's in a bunch of movies where elevators are involved and they always have like important parts of the movie where they're blowing up or something. Maybe this is the key to his invulnerability and immortality. Someone also said the tank uh, and run the Titanic into the iceberg. That's kind of like a capstone. Oh. Someone mentioned as well, I blow up a lot of computers in real life. I should blow one up in the game. Yeah, we could do that. Let's go ahead and do the elevator first. I don't know what sort of horrors await us with the friggin' elevator. Uh, I do definitely want to blow up the jet. So, oh my god, there's 174 friggin' parts. Oh wow, we are like legitimately inside of an- Is this a two-story elevator? Is this a three-story elevator? How many elevator chunklets are there? All right. Well, I guess we need to get started with the ripping apart. So, uh, you know how I do, I- Oh, hi there, Concrete. How are you doing today? Uh, uh, come with me, Concrete, if you want to live. Just, wow, the Concrete is very, very strong with this one. I can't pull it off. Alright, maybe we'll start up here with this little- This little creature that appears to be powering the whole thing. Alright, one of these go off. We'll just go ahead and just toss that very, very- In a concerned- manner right over here because it looks like if you notice there's like a little pole in here that we may have to plot now one thing I know is I messed around a little bit with the computer and then I immediately felt sad and with much regret because I totally lost the footage uh the computer was very very legitimate like down to the heat sinks and stuff it was scary you guys were saying that the sub was actually super legitimate too a lot of people have been inside of a sub I thought that was awesome I have not at all like, I've never really even been close to a submarine. So I have no experience of any type there. But there is one thing that I have ripped apart a lot in real life, and that is computers. So I can definitely say that the computer was legitimate. Pretty current, too. It had a uh, solid state drive in it, not just a regular drive. That looks like it's all apart, so we can get rid of that. This is looking legit. You can sit downstairs as well. You random thing that it probably serves some important part of elevator operation. This can come off. Come on. Come on, come completely off. All the way off. All the way off. I know that I'm gonna have to rip you off, right? I'm gonna have to just use a little extra elbow grease. Okay, the, this is not coming off. Let us dip inside and see what sort of... Okay. Well, bye! It'll be fine. The Wheel of Potency! is somehow held on firmly. Probably because of this back plate, maybe? Ah, little top portion, you can go away. Look at this! Gears and chunks and all sorts of lovely things. That individual- Free fall! Oh lord! Well, hi there, physics! Looks like the elevators decide to fall to the ground of their own accord. Probably because we ripped the part out that was holding them up. And it was probably this thing over here. Now these gears, are these separate? Or can I like pull this port? Out. No, it looks like it's all one piece. You go sit in the corner. We've got a fairly heavy looking chunk over here. You go down that way. There's a little wheel thing over here. Bye to you as well. Do we have any elevator technicians? Like, is that a specific style of, of mechanic? It has to be, right? Like someone who specializes in repairing elevators? I feel like that's a real thing. Go ahead and throw that down there like so. Now this top portion can come off. Now what I found in this game is you could make some fun things- Not that way. Not that way. Stop it. Stop. Nope. Nope. Do do as I command. Do Go the other way. The other way. The other way. The- Alright, you know what? Screw it. I'm just gonna go down here and grab this. What I found is that you can use these items and kind of wield them like baseball bats. So you can kind of just drive it through the heart of Mordor now and again. And sometimes it will break parts across, but of course now that I'm on YouTube showing you this, it's not gonna work. So let's do this the old-fashioned way with our bare freaking hands. People stuck in an elevator! 
Don't worry! Gray still plays, he'll save ya! <laughs> or at least I'll I'll get the elevator open. I don't know. Ooh. Oh, these are individual chunks. Look at this. See that little hidden chunklets like that. We gotta make sure to rip those apart. Now I think that there was some more down here. See this right here? If you don't get them, it's gonna make you sad later on in the game. You're gonna be sitting here saying to yourself, there's three parts left. Where are they? Where are they? And then pretty soon you'll go completely insane and want to eat a frisbee. In case you're wondering on the appropriate way to eat a frisbee, what you do is, uh, I guess you get super pissed off first. So you have to make sure that you're filled with anger. Then you have to fold it in half. I think you're supposed to clean the frisbee first. Then you fold it in half and you begin shoving it down your mouth until you can't see it anymore. Uh, now I will say, uh, kids don't try this at home. Because from what I understand, there's some fairly serious repercussions if you do it. Now are all these poles separate? Oh, they sure are. We're down to 125 parts. I feel like we haven't gotten very far for all of the work that we've done so far. More elevator ripping. Oh wow, I can't even remove that yet. Let's try and take the top portion off, I guess? Just kind of throw you over there. There we go. There's still 115 parts left, man. I've been ripping bars and beams and all kinds of... Come here. Come here. Get... Come on, just lift out. Lift out of the thing. Just... Like, at right, there, right there we go. That's right. We can get it to spasm its way through the through the elevator. You'll also notice right there that we took out, like, an extra portion or something. So, these things are doing fairly well so far. I will say, when I was taking apart the computer, what a giant pain in the ass, though. Because each screw was individual. So, that's, you know, I, I had taken, like, the entire thing apart. And there was still, like, 50 pieces left. And I was like, Where? And it was all the little tiny screws. So I'll bet, yep, right here, all these little pieces are going to be parts of this. In some ways, like when we did the car, the car was okay. But Car Mechanic Simulator was definitely more thorough in the parts. Like, the computer was seriously Computer Mechanic Simulator 2018 material. I was highly impressed. Now, can I get, can I free this at all? No. How about this front portion? Can I fu- There we go. Yes. Good. All of you. I just- I find disdain in the way all of you are looking at us. And thus you must die. Uh, is there an extra piece over there? Nope. Door can come off. There we go. We've saved the civilians. We've officially saved everyone. The jaws of life more like the jaws of sadness. That's what we're using. There's a little backing over here too. And see how that's not glowing? That tells me- that this sad little piece is its own chunk, which means that, yep, look at this, right over here. There's another one right over here. See, I miss, I miss stuff like this all the time. Because I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm just doing this randomly for the most part. Let's go ahead and pull you off. Pull you off. It's like a, a serious amount of damage that it sounds like is happening whenever we do this. Now, there's a, a little cross brace thing over here. One of those off. Can we... Yep, apparently we can. I was gonna say, can we pull this off yet? Yeah, sure can. Extra additional pieces up here. You can come with me, good sir. And I think that removes all those pieces. Now over here, this, it's almost like some sort of shroud. Go ahead and pull that off. Now can I get any of this? Oh, all these pieces are all individual. It almost looks like there would be, um, like screws and bolts and stuff. But it's not making me do anything with the screws and bolts. Definitely this piece over here needs to come off though. Ugh! There we go. Look at this bull crap. This little tiny piece inside is its own. Oh my god. Gotta take that off. Now I'll bet we can remove this port. Yep. Now we can remove this portion. Now is this, a like, is there additional chunks over here? No, okay. This is its own piece. So let's go ahead and throw that over there. Now is there anything else I can do? It looks like there's another lid piece over here. Yep, sure is. Another lid piece over here, down to 76, but there's still so many pieces! We're getting somewhere now, boys! 65 pieces. 64 pieces. Look at this. Just taking out the garbage, folks. Just tossing it all to the side. I'm gonna feel real sad when one of these pieces has multiple parts that I'm gonna have to scour through again to get rid of. Oh, oh can I not release you from your bondings? Let's go ahead and, yeah, that can go away. Oh, you know what? I'll bet on this side is where we have to take additional parts out. Right over here. Go ahead and toss you. This kind of little random brace over here is just looming around. 
expectantly, like something's about to happen, but it doesn't really do anything. Like, nothing was really holding it on. I think I had taken that off a while back. Now, can I get rid of this? Uh-oh! Oh, I'm beginning to wield the entire freaking elevator. That was not what I had intended. I wanted to take this off individually. There we go. All right, so now this piece should come off, or it could float in midair like it's propelled by magic or something. Maybe this middle piece? Nope, can't grab that middle piece either. All right, so something is sticking onto this. Some sort of odd extra plane your force is keeping this where it is. I, I don't, I'm not really 100% sure what is, oh, hi there, how are you doing? I'm not really 100% sure what is causing this to happen. So many beams. So many bars. Not only that, we got like the whole interior over here that I'm wondering if we're going to have to mess with as well. All these panels over here looks like they're separate. See this? Oh no. I wonder if some of the other panels that we've gotten rid of are also completely separate like that. We're going to have to rip them all apart. Now how about all these buttons here? Like this, yep, see that? A little panel over here counts as one piece. Oh. This elevator probably legitimately worked before we started. Oops. I was gonna say this elevator probably worked before we started ripping it apart. Oh, the little door pieces. Oh, all of it is separate. I'm trying to find those last bits now. This is the worst part. When you've ripped everything in half, and now all that's left, potentially, is like some other little screws or something like that. You have to wander all over the place, trying to find out exactly where they lie. Oh, this piece over here. Look at this. Multiple pieces inside. Is there anything else I can do with this? It doesn't look like it. It looks like once you grab these pieces off, there's nothing else. I think that's pretty much all. Yeah, that looks to be all for that one. Oh, all these little platforms over here, all individual pieces. Should have freaking known. Gotta go ahead and rip all those apart. What else do we have over here? What other sort of secrets does the inside of an elevator hold for us? I feel like that's pretty much everything on this piece. Or is it? Is this is this a part of this, I wonder? No, I don't think so. Oh my god, there's two pieces left. Where the hell are they? I just got one. It was another little bar that was sitting underneath one of these panels. These panels over here have been like the bane of my existence. Like every single one of them has these sad little bars under them that you have to separate from the rest. But like, it's hard because you never really know. Because the outlines are pretty consistent for the most part. Unless the thing that you're looking to separate is like really big compared to the other part that you don't need to separate. Oh, I think I got it. Oh, come on. Count it. Count it. That's the last part, right? <laughs> I thought it would have been the last part. This is one part left. You gotta be freaking kidding me. Come on. That was technically two parts. I could have sworn that was two parts. All right. The last one's around here somewhere. Oh, for the love of God. Oh, this game is in one way awesome and in one way completely infuriating. Oh my God. 45 minutes of my life later. I've unlocked the bomb. I don't even know what the last item was. I have no idea. I was just, it got to the point where I was just dragging pieces around trying to beat everything else up and something came apart. I have no idea what it, it was probably like, what in the hell was that? Where's the bomb at? Where did the bomb go? Is it like levitating inside of the, oh mother of God. Yep. It's inside of the elevator. Fire the bomb. Oh, 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 oh. oh, yes. Bring out the bomb squad, boys. Actually, don't bring out the bomb squad. They're a little bit too late for this. Wow. Well, that's a good way to get rid of, uh, you know, a couple, almost a hundred and some odd parts. We're down to eight now. Bombs are always the best, man. They blow everything up so well. There's nothing to worry about. Might as well just put another one down there because why not? I know you can. You guys are saying you could like drag them around and stuff like that, which is fun. This is how I find all the pieces. I just drag the different items into stuff to get them to kind of throw things around. That's the rest of the pieces. I think we may have finished this board a lot faster this time. And by a lot faster, I mean in like 11 seconds. <laughs> 
Oh my god, 45 minutes. Every time I look at that, I'm gonna be filled with sadness. So here's the bomb. I wonder what happens if we put it kind of at the base of the elevator in in instead of inside of the actual elevator, Chef. Now, the bomb works best when it's cradled softly. Like this over here. Like the sad little creature it is. We'll kind of just put some additional planks over there. There we go, kind of. Hold on, let me just kind of... Yeah, right like, right like that. There we go. Now blow up, Mr. Bomb. There we have it. From the bottom to the top. The bomb is gonna rock your friggin' world. Although, oddly, it doesn't look like the, uh... <laughs> it doesn't look like the elevator cares about gravity or anything like that. Still working just fine. If I hit the button over here, uh... Will it go down or anything? Or have I have I destroyed it enough? There's still the panic alarm. That still works. Alright, one last bomb. There we go. Zero parts left. We freaking did it. Pieces. Broken dreams. Shattered promises laying all over the place. Oh, the elevator does fully work. I just wanted to come back in here and check this out. Hold on, let's let's go let's go inside over here. Go ahead and close Ron up. Uh, first floor, please. Oh. It's working! It's legitimately working! So now it happens if you put the bomb in. Oh. It falls all the way down there. Oh, actually, you know what? Hold on now. No, 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 no! Doors, doors! Don't close yet! Don't close yet! Don't close yet! Hold on. Uh, going up? <laughs> yes! There we go. Oh, can this even fit inside? Oh, it can! Like, just barely. Yeah, there you go, just scoot it right inside like that. Okay, now let's blow up the bomb while it's going to the next floor. Here we go. Fire the bomb! There we go. That's kind of right in that middle area that I wanted to see it blow up in. Alright. Now that we've had our fun with the elevator, over to the plane. Welcome to the Jumbo Jet. The A380. Let us wander inside and see the various glories of this contraption. Fantastic piloting area. Look at all the instruments and stuff like that. Looking pretty legit. Anyone ever been inside of one of these planes here? I've never been in anything this big at all. Like, I've never been in a plane this big. You guys are have to let me know, though. Just like how you said about the submarine. I want to know. How legitimate... Where is this? Is this, like, above first class? Or is this, like, where the, uh, where the crew gets to sit? Look, it's like a little lounge area. Little seats over here and stuff. Oh, there's magazines. Look at this. You got your whining and dining over here. You got Time Magazine. Men's Health 2009. So this has been ripped right off of some picture because uh, I guess this gives us a potential idea of what year it is right now for this particular scenario. Now, this looks kind of first classy. Everything's pretty well spaced out. Lots of leg room. You got uh, all kinds of, like, fancy little armrests and technology in there, have you? Looking pretty slick. What else do we got? If we continue to go on here. Oh, we found the toilet. That's lovely. Oh, crap. I'm moving, like, too fast to the toilet. The only thing I don't like is that the game moves very quickly. Uh, in that, like, when you're, when you're trying to fly around, you fly very fast. And I don't know if there's any way to slow this down. Now, is this, is this area over here? Okay, so there we have our first class. Oh, wow. Wait, maybe this isn't first class. Because all these look... Fairly legitimately cool. There now this is this is what I'm used to. I've never flown first class people I'm a coach guy now. We're looking a little bit more like coach you can tell from like the 1960s fabric That sits on all the seats. Maybe it's not though now. What is this area? Is this like a little kitchenette style thing or some sort of crew area where they serve some stuff? I'm not really sure if we go any further. What will we find what sort of oddity? I think we're outside the plane over here. It's like a cargo area down here. I met oh hold on what is this? Oh! This looks more like coach. Here we go. Now everyone's crammed together like sardines. That's what I like to see. This brings back memories. There we go. Oh, what is this? What is this? This is like better than first class. This is like first class plus. Look at this. You get like your own little, your own little privacy area. Looks like a little air that blows directly on you. Look at the size of these seats. It's freaking amazing. So is this first class and the other one is just like semi first class? That one looks incredible though. All right. So we've got a pretty good look at all the little areas. I'm guessing this is the cargo area. We've got a pretty good look of all the areas for the plane. Now, 
This does legitimately fly. Uh, it looks like it would run into the wall headlong, which would be funny in its own right. But I think instead, if we just kind of power this thing up, it'll go ahead over here and take off. There we go. Welcome, everyone, to Air Gray. Don't worry, it's 100% safe. Let's go ahead and bring the... Uh, now, can you bring these up? <laughs> Never mind. I was like, oh, can you bring the... Can you bring the landing gear up? Why would I want to bring the landing gear up? Let's just rip them off instead. You know what? Why not? No one's getting any safety today. I kind of wonder what will happen if we... What in the hell is going on over there? If we start ripping the wings off while this thing's in flight. Let's give it a shot. So, like, if I take, like, a little chunk of the wing off... That wasn't a little chunk of the wing! You know... I don't think that the crash was that bad. Uh, I think the fact that the front landing gear kind of like somehow managed to loom inside of the jet kind of kept it safe. Alrighty, landing gear comes off. Part of the part of the hull comes off. Oh crap! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean for that to happen, but that was freaking awesome. Well. Not much left of the plane now, is there? Man, we immediately went from like 200 parts to 50-something parts. I love the plane, man. It is e this thing is easy to take apart. All right. I've managed to rip off all the landing gears. Now, can you take... Oh, the engine. Yeah, let's just kind of rip off the engine a little bit. Now, what happens if we get rid of one of the engines? Huh. Still flying, like it's no big deal. All right, let's try another one. Go ahead and get rid of this engine. Now, if you lose both engines on, never mind. Crap! Down to 12 parts. That was our best crash yet. I was gonna say, if you lose both engines on one side, what was that? What just happened there? Was that like someone trying to get out of the wreckage? Is that like the survivors trying to pull the? What is going on over here? A random piece just decided to ejaculate itself out of the middle of the plane. I was not a part of that. I don't know what happened there. All right. One engine gone. Come here. Now, don't take the wing off. I just I just want the engine. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Yeah. See, I don't think it would be able to fly quite so straight. Now, what happens if I bank hard? Banking hard. Going against the sidewall. There we go. There we go. Wow. Only six pieces left. This may be the fastest disassembly we've ever gotten. Just using one piece like a snow plow over here. It's working quite well, actually. Working quite well. A snow plow of death and sadness and regret. There we go. Got it. Alright, now I guess the biggest question is, where do we put the bomb? I feel like it would be good to just put this, like, right in the middle. Go ahead and... Let's just go ahead and open up a little pocket over here. So is this, like, the mid-class people? I think we're gonna need a slightly larger pocket. Come here. Come here. Just come out of, come out of the plane. There we go. That right there. And then just kind of yank this piece off. A little bit more destruction than I had... Crap. Well, we can't let a perfectly good bomb go to waste. Let's just kind of nestle it in there nice and smooth. Now, I don't know if this can even take off at this point. Nope. Plane definitely does not run. Bomb, you know what to do. Make it happen, baby. There we are. We have several explosions going on here. I think that the plane is much more volatile than the elevator, and for good reason, too. But you can see as we float through all of the, uh, the hell on earth fire and sadness over here, that many horrifying things have happened. Oh. The captain's area is in, like, odd good repair. Uh, hold on. Let me go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and remedy this very quickly. Let's go grab our, our bomb as we do. Bring it over here by the captain. Captain, you've done so well piloting. I have a very special gift for you. There you go. There you go, buddy. 
Mm. Still three parts left, though. I'm pretty surprised, especially after everything that we've done with the bombs. All right, now I don't know if I can get the bomb sitting on the plane while it flies. I'm going to try this here. Now, understand, this is purely for science. All right, so let's drop it down. There we go. And fire the bomb. We did it. The full midair deconstruction. See, I'm not going to call it a bombing. We're merely deconstructing the plane for the purposes of knowledge and science and testing. And as the plane falls to the ground, one part left, I feel friggin' jip. For those of you that wanted to see the computer go down in a great ball of fire, this one's for you, boys. And three, two, one, ignition! There you go. From 99 parts to zero parts. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Disassembly 3D. If you have any other suggestions on things for us to destroy or take apart, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.